Today's lesson is about job references. So um, this is part of our vocational preparation unit. We've talked a lot, and I mean a lot, about job resumes as well as job applications. And so now we're gonna talk about job references. It's a portion of your job application and um, it's really important to fill out and to fill out appropriately. So let's, let's go over what that looks like. All right, so what is a job reference, you might be wondering. Well, a job reference, it's the portion of a job application where you are required to list individuals who are familiar with your work performance and who can attest to your abilities as a potential employee. So a proper job reference includes the contact information of the person who can verify your workability, including their full name, their current job title, as well as their employer, their phone number, and their email address. And so um, this will typically be towards the end of your job application once you've filled out your personal information, um, your relevant work history, and um, references will be at the bottom, okay? Occasionally a job might ask for a letter of reference or a letter of recommendation, which is a little bit different, and we can go over that in a separate lesson, but today we're just talking about job references. So here we have two different um, templates. On the left is a job reference template. And so it literally just lists the references that this individual, this potential candidate would um, uh, have a, their potential employer contact, right? So same concept, full name, position and company, email address, phone number. They need this so that they can contact the person. On your right, you have a sample application for employment. So you have here your personal info, your education, your previous employment, and down here, this is what we're talking about, your job references section, okay? It's the names of individuals who can verify and attest to your work abilities. So it's, um, you'd write down their name, their title, what company they work for, and their phone. So some applications will ask for phone, some will ask for phone and email address. The point is that they just need a means of contacting the person. Which brings us to our next point. Why do I need a job reference? Well, a job reference is required so that a potential employer, which is the company with an open position that you are applying for, it's so that they can confirm with another person that the information you included in your job application is true. So when you put down a person as your job reference, um, they'll likely be contacted by the company or the manager for whatever job you are applying for by phone or email, and then they'll discuss in detail more about you. So the company is going to ask whoever you put down as a job reference questions like, um, why are you recommending this person for a job? Tell me a little bit about their work history or their skills that they bring to the work environment. How long have you known this person? In what capacity do you know this person? Okay. And so, um, like I said, they'll answer questions about your skills. And so it's really important to choose someone who actually knows you Ideally, someone who knows you in a professional capacity who can attest and say, yes, this person worked with me on such and such project. I can verify that they have such and such skills or um, such and such qualities that make them a good candidate for this job. So having a good job reference can honestly be, you know, the deciding factor in whether you get a job or not. So now here's the important part. How do I get a job reference? Okay, we know what it is, we know why it's important, but how in the world do we get it? So the best way to get a reliable job reference is to ask someone who knows you well enough to attest to your skills, your abilities, and your personality, okay? You're not just gonna ask um, some random person. You're not just gonna ask your neighbor, okay? You wanna ask someone who knows you. Um, you want this person to be someone who will tell the truth about you and who you hopefully have a professional relationship with, okay? That means you've worked with them, you've worked maybe on a project together, or they um, they just know you and, and, again, can verify that, yes, you are this person, you are capable of such and such. 
So some examples of good people to ask for a job reference include former teachers. All right, if you work in a transition environment, asking your transition work coaches. Um, if you've ever been a part of an organization or a club on campus at your high school or your community college, you can ask those people because again, they can attest to what qualities you brought to the organization and what, um, <clears throat> what capacity you served as a member of the club or organization. And then, of course, you can ask your former employers, people that you've worked for, or individuals that you have volunteered with. So if you volunteered um, through, let's say, Meals on Wheels, you could ask the coordinator of Meals on Wheels for um, a job reference. You know, ask them if it's okay to put them down as a job reference so that they get contacted by a potential employer. So the point is, you, again, want to use professional um, references. So don't use your mom, don't use your best friend, don't use your brother or sister, don't use your um, significant other or that guy that you met one time. All right, because these people, um, A, either don't know you very well, or B, they know you in a more intimate personal capacity, which can color their judgment. And um, a potential employer wants to know, you know, from a you know objective point of view, what you are capable of, and so your teacher can tell you that, your old um, and former employer can tell you that, of your coaches, if you've ever played sports, can attest to your abilities in a more objective way. So, in choosing a person to be your job reference contact, you need to consider the following. All right. Be proactive. So don't wait until the last minute to ask someone to be a job reference. Ask them before you plan on applying. So the moment you decide that you think that you want a job, ask and compile a list of job references, okay? So that you have their express, that means their explicit okay, their express permission to be listed as a reference contact. You don't want to list people that you haven't asked because when a potential employer calls them, they might be surprised and it, it just gets very uncomfortable quickly. So be proactive, ask for their permission, make sure it's okay. And again, make sure that uh, these are people that you know in a professional capacity. Choose wisely, okay? Make sure that you're asking um, maybe a teacher. Uh, if you are asking a teacher, you're probably more likely to ask a teacher that you've worked with or that you've been in a class with for several years, someone who really knows you. Um, just don't choose uh, people who only know you personally. So your family, okay? They wouldn't be great references. Um, worst case scenario, if you have no previous work history um, and no teacher is willing to write you a letter, of recommendation or be a job reference, which is highly unlikely, then you might be able to put down your mom or dad. But I would I would definitely suggest asking a teacher first. That's a great way to go. Ask nicely. This is so important, okay? You want to let the person know that, um, that you are just so grateful and appreciative to them for being a job reference, a potential contact that a put, an employer can, you know, get in touch with and talk to because this person is going to be telling a potential employer information about you. So you want to make sure that you, you know, establish rapport, which hopefully you already have, but just ask nicely. It goes a long way. Also make it easy. Inform them ahead of time what job you'll be applying for, what the job responsibilities are so that they can relate your skills as they understand it and experienced it to the job. Um, you want to let them know likely when the potential employer will be contacting them so that they aren't, you know, blindsided by a call uh, while they're at work or just, just so they have ample time to prepare. Keep it simple. You want uh, your job references co comments to be as natural as possible. So you don't really want to rehearse it because then that sounds staged and it just doesn't bode very well for continuing on in the job application process. And then lastly, follow up afterwards. Ask them how it went. Thank them for what they have done for you. If you want to send a thank you note, a thank you email, that goes a long way just to show people that you appreciate 
their contributions and helping you get a job. All right, so here's some other tips for requesting a reference. It's pretty much the same as what was included on the previous slide. Um, so I'll leave you to that and we'll talk more about this in class.